And this is Tamara with Real TV Films. We're continuing to talk with more of the people from the film Frag. What was your role in the film? What's your name? My name is Mike Paisley. I'm the director of Frag. And this is my girlfriend, very tolerant girlfriend, Taylor Martin. So what's it like to be the girlfriend of a Frag filmmaker? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, you're living the dream, right? It's busy. But Every yeah. girl wants to date a filmmaker. He's going to put you in one of your films. I'm lucky. <laughs> So tell us, what was the journey like of getting Fragmate? It was incredible. We were in production for almost two years, and I was brought on the project just a few months into that um, because our executive producer, Judd Saul, knew there was material there. He's interested in gaming, but we were having trouble finding what the story was, how we can tell it in a way that would be interesting to people that aren't interested in it already. So we did a lot of interviews, shot a lot of footage, had to track down a lot of information. And as we got more and more into it, the story became more and more engaging and, and compelling. And, and just everything we were hoping for, um, we found the right characters and found their stories and how it was interesting and the things they've gone through and the, some of the darker underbelly of it. And it's, just, it's been incredible. It's been a, a long journey, but a, a satisfying one. What is professional gaming? Professional video game playing or pro gaming is an exciting new world. But what is pro gaming? How does it work? Let's take a look. Uh, I know a lot of players that have, you know, dropped out of school or whatever just to, just to play. I got the whole lecture that I was wasting my life away. I moved out right about two weeks before I graduated high school. I literally had five years where I didn't see or speak to my parents. There's a player called Lost Cause who wasn't really known, I would say, a year or two ago. He didn't have money. He was in trouble uh, financially a couple of times. He actually made himself homeless. He was basically like Kane in Kung Fu and just wandering around without a home and trying to game. CPO created an industry where a lot of companies are involved in millions of dollars for all those companies. Some of these kids are kids, and they're just partying and having a good time. Many people would think that being a professional gamer is easy, but they have absolutely no idea about the kind of stress that gamers are subject to. All sorts of troubles with the sponsors. There's not a lot of time to live left for these players. Who pulls the strings in gaming? The sponsors do. All right, so uh, is this the kind of film that you normally make, or what's your normal genre of film? Uh, my normal genre of film, I would say, is more narrative. Um, so I'm actually working on a, a narrative piece called The Stevie Wonder Show right now um, that I'm trying to get off the ground. Um, but I'm very interested in documentaries. It's been a great experience. And I think the difference between documentary and narrative is not as, as distinct as people might think it is. So. so what have you learned on your journey as a filmmaker, and what are you doing differently, and how are you evolving? I am trying to learn to be more concise with interviews and finding what are the right questions to ask and how do you do the research to find out what you want to get. And so just, you know, investing yourself in the, in the world and just getting immersed in it. All right, well, we look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. This is Tamara with Real TV Films, AFI Dallas. Yeah, listen. I said, ladies, you can be my home.